Welcome to part C. Now, in part C, we're asked to show that k equals 0 0.277 to three signum figures. That's for the equation 4k plus sine 4k minus 2 equals 0. Now, in order to show this, I'm going to let, and it's important that you put let because I'm going to define f of k as being 4k plus sine 4k minus 2, the left-hand side of this equation. And we're trying to look for an interval that uh, k would be between to make this equal to 0. So to appreciate this, uh, I'm just going to sketch the graph of f of k, put that as f of k, and we'll have this as my k-axis across here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to look at the lower bound for k equaling 0 0.277 and the lower bound for k equaling 0 0.277 is 0 0.2765 so imagine that's that point, 0 0.2765 and then the upper bound for uh, k to 3SF would be 0 0.2775 Okay, and then what I'm going to do is try and see uh, if k lies in this interval um, by looking at a change of sign. So we start off by working out f of 0 0.2765, 0 0.2765. By putting k equal to 0 0.2765 through this equation, what I get out, just type it into the calculator, comes out to be a very small number, negative number though, that's the important point, minus 0 0.0008712 and so on. Okay, so that's telling us that uh, when we plot f of k for 0 0.2765, we get a point below the k axis. Okay, I move on and I look at the point 0 0.2775. So I would plug that one into the equation 0 0.27, oops, 0 0.2775. Plug that into this equation up here, uh, the left hand side, or basically this one here, and uh, put it through the calculator. I get 0 0.00. 0 .00 five, six, nine, and so on, a positive value. So if we plot that on the graph, it's not drawn to scale, but it'll be a point up here, say. So that means that uh, because this curve is continuous, there's no breaks over this interval, that the graph is essentially going to pass through these points, somewhere up through here, and the root for k will be here, and so k will be 0 0.277 to three significant figures. So just summarize that in the uh, bottom here by saying that uh, since uh, there's a change of sign, so since there is a change of sign over that interval, change of sign, okay, over the interval, Okay, and that interval is 0 0.2765, comma, and 0 0.2775. Now, intervals tend to be put in square brackets rather than curved brackets, otherwise they look like a coordinate. Okay, so since there's a change in sign over that interval, uh, then k must equal 0 0.2772 to 3 significant figures. It obviously must lie in this interval here. Okay, I hope you found that useful and uh, that brings us to the end of question five.